Passion comes in different dimensions. It also shows a person's personality and culture, which varies in Africa, where people dress according to their cultural beliefs. However, a close look at some ladies' dresses in Abuja shows there could be more to it. The dress code of ladies. Well, most of the of the ladies in Abuja they dress to expose their bodies, and which is not speaking well of a woman reputation. The percentage of indecent dress is higher than decent. Why some are of the view they dress for comfort and not to please any man? Others say they dress to suit the occasion. Some of their dresses, uh, dresses, they are decent. Why some are not? So it depends on the house or the home they are coming out from. So any dressing you put on, you feel it's okay by you. Once it's not exposing your body, I think it's okay. Although a cross section of Nigeria are of the opinion that parents play a larger role in inculcating discipline in their children at the early stage, others say environmental influence and trading passion could be deciding factors, especially for some ladies. At least the most parents they have a lot to do, in, you know, checking the dressing of their wards or their children before leaving the house. For me, I think any dressing that covers your body, that does not expose any part of your body. If you go on trousers and you're okay with that, it's okay. It's on skirt, it's okay. Like me, I prefer dressing on trousers and top. That's my dressing. The stress they need for young ladies to desist from such social phenomena, which makes them expose some vital parts of their body and generate unnecessary attention from their male counterparts. In Abuja, Munirat Mohammed, Liberty 